This is a really interesting equation here. We have Na2O2 plus CO2, that's sodium peroxide, carbon dioxide. That gives us this sodium carbonate, but it also gives us oxygen gas. This is used when they take wood pulp and they make paper to bleach it, to make it really white. It's also used to make oxygen here for scuba divers. You can actually have this to generate oxygen when scuba diving at certain depths. So to balance the equation, we'll count all the atoms up. We have two sodium atoms, two oxygen atoms. Be careful, there's two here. So we have a total of four, and we have just the one carbon. On the product side, we have two sodiums, three oxygens, plus these two here gives us five total oxygens, and then the one carbon. So everything's balanced except the oxygens. Let's see, to balance it, we need to have one more oxygen on this side. Since this is a smaller number, I'm gonna to try to get it to be a bigger number. I'm just gonna put a two in front of the carbon dioxide just to see how that works out. So now I have one times two for the carbon, that gives me two carbons, but I can update my oxygens. And I have the two here plus two times two, that's four. So I have six total oxygen atoms. Still doesn't work out. Maybe what I should do now is try to think about getting this to an even number. If I get this to an even number, I might be able to change some other things to uh, get it to balance. I could put a two in front of the sodium carbonate and that would change the sodium, it would change the oxygen and the carbon as well. So let's do that. We'll update these numbers here. We have two times two for the sodium. That gives us four oxygens. Two times three is six plus these two here. So now we have eight. And carbons, we have the one carbon here times the two. So we have two carbons. That balances the carbons. I think if we put a two in front of the sodium peroxide, that'll fix the sodiums, but it should also give us two more of these oxygens so that this should be balanced. See if it works. Two times two, sodium atoms are balanced. And let's update the oxygens. Two times two, four oxygens, plus two times two, four oxygens, that gives us eight. So we've balanced this equation. It's a little tricky because we have oxygens here, 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 and here. So changing one thing can cause problems. But take a trial and error approach and you should be okay. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Na2O2 plus CO2, sodium peroxide plus carbon dioxide. Thanks for watching.